Welcome to a lesson on unit scale. The goals of the video are to define unit scale, use a unit scale to determine an actual length, and then also to use unit scale to represent an object proportionally. Unit scale is a ratio that compares the dimensions of a scaled object to the actual dimensions of an object. So for example, if we read a map and the legend states that one-fourth of an inch is equal to five miles, this is a unit scale, meaning this represents a ratio of one-fourth inch to five miles comparing the scaled length to the actual length. What that means is if we measure the distance from town A to town B, and let's say this distance is three and one-half inches, we can use this information with the unit scale to determine the actual length. The first ratio will be one-fourth to five miles, and it might be easier if we convert this fraction to a decimal. One divided by four is equal to 0 0.25, so this ratio would be 0 0.25 to five miles, and this must be equal to the ratio of three and a half inches, or 3.5 inches, to the actual distance from town A to town B, which we'll call M, to remind us that this value will be in miles. Once we have two ratios equal to each other, we have what's called a proportion, and we can perform cross products to solve for m, meaning m times 0 0.25, or 0.25m, must equal five times 3.5. Well, five times 3.5 is equal to 17.5. Now we have a one-step equation. To solve for m, we just divide by 0.25. Let's go ahead and use our calculator for this. 17.5 divided by 0.25 is equal to 70. So the actual distance between town A and town B would be 70 miles. Let's go and take a look at another example. Here we have a scaled diagram of a tower, and it states that one half inch is equal to 500 feet. Well, let's say that we measure the height of this tower with a ruler, and it's two and one quarter inches. And now we can use this unit scale and this measurement here to determine the actual height of this tower. So we're going to set up two ratios to perform a proportion and then solve by performing cross products. So the first ratio was one half inch to 500 feet. Again, we'll convert one half to a decimal. So we'll have 0.5 inches to 500 feet must equal our measurement here, two and one fourth inches or 2.25 inches to the height in feet. So we'll use F to remind us that this measurement will be in feet. Now we'll find the cross products. 0.5F must equal 500 times 2.25. That's going to give us 1,125. And now we'll just divide by 0.5. So the height of this tower in feet is going to equal 1,125 divided by 0.5 and that's going to give us 2,250 feet, which would be the actual height of this tower. Let's take a look at one more example using this information in the opposite direction. Let's say you want to make a sketch of your garden that is 12 feet by 30 feet. If you use the unit scale one half inch equals four feet, what would the dimensions of the sketch be so that our sketch is proportional to the actual size of the garden? So the ratio we're going to use to do these conversions will be one half inch is equal to four feet. So we'll have 0.5 inches to four feet. Let's first convert our measurement of 12 feet into inches using this unit scale. So we'll have 0.5 to four must equal the length to 12 feet. Notice we're converting the feet to inches Therefore, the given value of 12 is in our denominator because that's where the units of feet are in our given unit scale. 
Now we'll find our cross products. Four times L must equal point five times twelve, that would be six. We'll divide by four. So we're going to have the length is going to be six divided by four or one point five inches. So this would be the scaled measurement for twelve feet. Now we'll do the same for thirty feet. So the unit scale is the same, point five to four must equal, now we'll call it the width, divided by thirty feet. Again, notice we're comparing inches to feet, inches to feet. Now we'll perform cross products for W is equal to point five times thirty, that'd be fifteen, divided by four. W equals fifteen divided by four, that's going to be three and three-fourths, or three point seven five inches. So the last thing we might want to do is notice that the given unit scale is in fraction form. So one point five inches would be one and a half inches, and three point seven five inches would be three and three-fourths inches. So the scale dimensions would be one and a half inches by three and three-fourths inches. Okay, that's going to do it for unit scale. Thank you for watching.